my beloved brethren, do not hold your hope in our glorious Lord Jesus with an attitude of personal favoritism. For if a man comes into your assembly wearing a gold ring and dressed in fine clothes, and there also comes in a poor man dressed in dirty clothes, and you say to the man with a gold ring, you sit here in a good place. But you say to the poor man, you stand over there or sit down here by my footstool. Have you not made distinctions among yourselves and become judges with evil motives? My beloved brethren, did not God choose the poor of this world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom which he promised to those who love him? But you have dishonored the poor man. Is it not the rich who oppress you, who personally take you to court? Do they not blaspheme the fair name by which you have been called? If, however, you are fulfilling the royal law according to the scripture, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. You are doing well. But if you show partiality, you are committing sin and are convicted by the law as transgressors. For whoever keeps the whole law yet stumbles in one point has become guilty of all. For he who said, do not murder, also said, do not commit adultery. Now, if you do not murder, but do commit adultery. You have become a transgressor of the law. So speak and so act as those who are to be judged by the law of liberty. What use is it, my brethren, if a man says he has faith, but he has no works? Can that faith save him? If a brother or a sister is without clothing and in need of daily food, and one of you says to them, go in peace, be warm, be filled, without giving them what is necessary for their body, what use is that? Even so, faith, if it has no works, is dead, being by itself. But someone may well say to you, You have faith. I have works. Show me your faith without the works, and I will show you my faith by my works. You believe that God is one. You do well. The demons also believe and tremble. But are you willing to recognize, you foolish fellow, that faith without works is useless? Was not Abraham, our father, justified by works when he offered Isaac's son up on the altar? You see that Faith was working with the works, and as a result of the works, faith was perfected, and the scripture was fulfilled, which says, Abraham believed God, and it was reckoned to him as righteousness. And he was called the friend of God. You see that a man is justified by works and not by faith alone. In the same way was not Rahab the harlot justified by works when she received the messengers and sent them out by another way? For just as the body without the spirit is dead, so also faith without works is dead. 